So what's happened now is that you have been running GAM Advanced for a while and Ross Scroggs has updated GAM with new fancy things. So what we're going to now do is we're now going to update. So there's a couple of easy ways of doing it with Google Cloud Shell or Mac OS or things like that, which we're gonna start with. And then we're gonna to go to the more complicated parts. But firstly, for everyone, we are going to be using this and just see what the version is that we're actually running. So if we go in here and we say, okay, GAM ADV XD3 6.7.7. And if I go over here, which I'll put in the resources as well, and I go and look at it, it says that we're actually on 6.8.29. Now, I don't like having to think. It's very overrated. So if I go GAM and I say version, and then I say check, RC for release candidate and push enter. Then it says here the current that we are on is on 6.7 and the latest is on this. So now with Mac, Linux and the Cloud Shell, it's quite simple. All we're going to do is run this command. We're gonna run the bash. It's going to grab with the curl command from this particular link and then it's going to install it. So if I push enter on that now, It says the upgrade is complete. And if I go up arrow again and see version check, it says I'm on the latest version. If you're on Mac or Linux, that's very simple and that works. Now on this page over here, it says here, if you are using those, you can just download that. But if you're using Windows, you can say, go to the downloads page and then you can go to the GitHub releases page. And then under the GitHub releases page, you can go down here and you can scroll through all the things that um, Ross has updated. And over here, you can see that there's an MSI, MSI, 64-bit MSI. So you can download that, run it and install it. But in preparations for this video, I was looking at this and I'm gonna put this in the resources too. Chris River on the GAM Google group has put together this PowerShell script. So we're gonna actually try this and see if this works. So I'm gonna grab the script and I'm gonna put this a link to this in the description as well. I'm gonna copy this. And I'm gonna chuck this into this notepad here. So paste. So let's see what it actually is going to do. So if gam version check RC, so that is the same command that we've just done. And we're going to look at that URL and we're gonna look at it from the JSON. We're going to then look at it for 64-bit windows. Uh, we're going to get the location, the download files from the latest zip file. So that would be probably that one. And then we expand the archive and then install it, move this directory um, and then remove that directory and then do this. Okay, so what we're going to do is actually see if this works now. Okay, so we're going to say file, save as, and I'm going to put this into my C drive. And I'm going to put it into my GAM ADV XD3. And in here, I am going to call this update GAM ADV XDD3.ps1. Now, .ps1 is a PowerShell command, and that's what we're actually running here. It actually is a PowerShell script. So I'm going to say save. Okay, so that's actually there. So now, if I run and go into here, and see there's my PowerShell. We could either right click over here and say run with PowerShell, or if you are going to do this and you say PowerShell, and let's just zoom in there and say C drive. Wow, CD backslash, uh, CD gam, and then we would also say update. We could run it from there too. So let's run this and see what this actually does. Okay. So it gives me a weird error here and says missing end curly brace. So if I go back into this and let's just look there, uh, it's got a curly brace there and it's got a curly brace there and then else and there's no curly brace at the end. So let's just put a curly brace there, save that again and let's run that this time. Obviously downloading from the internet now and that looks like it's done. Okay, so now let's see if the version is right. So we're gonna go GAM and we say version and check RC again. 
And what you'll see now is that the current is exactly the same as the latest, which means that that PowerShell script works perfectly. I'm gonna to link to this. I'm gonna to reply to this post over here and just say that they need to include the last curly brace. But that means that you can update your GAM ADV XDD3 quite nice and easily. You can save this PS1 file, your PowerShell script, into your GAM ADV XDD3 and you can actually even put a scheduler on if, if you want and say once a week, uh, run this PowerShell script and update mine to the latest version of GAM ADV XD3 and that works. But if you do have any other questions, please put them into the Q&A section. But otherwise, let's move on to the next lesson.